So not only is Beat Thang a very powerful and flexible drum machine, but it's also a really dope instrument creator and a, a instrument playback machine, um, which is why we laid out the, the keys uh, to be chromatic. So you could play it like a, an instrument, not just a drum machine, but you know, keys. Since it's portable, you wanna be able to do that, right? Um, so we laid it out chromatically. Well. To take advantage of that, um, we put in an instrument mode. And the way I get to that is by clicking the instrument button. And I can run through some of the different instruments that um, you know comes through it just by simply turning the data knob and then you know scrolling through and picking which one I want, like a flute. Or strings or basses or guitars or you know, a million different, um, you know, ones that you could pick um, that you could then play. Um, and the, the cool thing here is that I can actually make my own instruments um, on Beat Thang, and it's real easy to do. So let me show you how to do that real quick. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the instrument button. Once I click the instrument button, it's gonna take me into instrument mode and then, you know, like I just showed you, I can scroll through the different, um, you know, ones that come with it. I can edit those, or I can create a new one simply by clicking new. Click instrument button, then new. Um, and very similar to um, kit mode, um, like I showed you how to make a drum kit, it's very also very simple and easy to make your own instrument. It starts with selecting a pad. So I could just select, select an empty pad you know, maybe bank up a couple banks. So you give room on the left hand side. So, cause what you're trying to do is make one sample stretch across the keys. So I pick a, a, a key that's kind of in the middle of the octaves. Um, maybe like, you know, C12 or something like that. And then I'm gonna use my cursor button to scroll over here and pick a sound. Let's say like, um, like a synthesizer sound or something like that. So I would just scroll to my synths here um, pick which one I want to use, maybe like um, C2, build it C2 here. And I'm going to go here and switch my trigger mode to gate. So it only plays as long as I'm holding down the... Got it, okay. And then I could go to layer 2 here on the screen. And I want to put something else on top of that. Maybe some kind of effect or something. Let's scroll through my effects, find something that works. Maybe like uh, Comet. Uh, there's a sound called Comet that I like. I'm going to use here. Select that. And I can bring the sound of that up, volume of that layer up, just by scrolling over. I could also bring the volume of that synth up if I wanted. Just like that. Okay. And then I could go to maybe layer three, because I can layer up to 16 uh, sounds on one pad. And uh, maybe let's uh, get another synth sound here. Um, scroll back over to synths, I'm on layer three. Let's find another one, maybe like uh, Bruce Lee, or no, no. Let's do, do Damon. Big shout out to Damon at Codetta. He did a hell of a job on the product design, brother on the industrial design. Big shout out to Damon. That's why I named this synth after you. <laughs> anyway. Boom. And now I can maybe pan that one a little to the left. I could, you know, set the different settings on that, chop it up. But basically, there's my synth. But now I want that to stretch across the keys. So I just click over more here until I get to key span. I click the key span button. It's gonna ask me what pad do I want it to start on? Well, I wanna bank all the way down to C0. And then it's gonna ask me what pad do I want it to end on? So I'm gonna bank up a few banks, maybe end that on C5. Click more, then I click complete, boom. And don't forget you got the pitch. Just like that. Now I can save that. Name it whatever I want. C5. 
save it to the device, whatever. I just called it F instrument or whatever. And then I could take that. I could hold down edit pattern. And there it is, ready for me to make a beat with. Um, I could always find it also in my instrument list down here. If I keep scrolling down, I get to there it is. Boom. Hit load, loads it up, and that's how to make an instrument on a beat thing. Very quick and simple to do, just like that. Instrument mode, beat thing.